Trisha wasn't really surprised when her mom and dad got into a huge fight over daddy working late again. They nearly always seemed to be fighting these days. She wasn't surprised when mommy told her she was going for a drive. Fights usually end with either mommy or daddy storming out of the house and driving off, returning hours later, after Trisha was asleep. She was a little surprised when her mommy told her to come along. This time and even more surprised when mommy stopped to put their dog Friday's leash on. We're taking Friday. Are we going to grandma's house again? A couple times, when the fights had been really bad, Trisha had been taken to spend a few days with grandma. Maybe. Come on, honey. Hurry along. Mom answered distractedly. Trisha hurried. She was glad Friday was with them. Mommy was silent, gripping the wheel tightly. She was surprised when Mommy didn't take the highway toward Grandma's, but instead headed on a back road and over an old bridge. And even more surprised when Mommy undid her seatbelt, sped up the car suddenly and jerked the steering wheel, sending the car careening toward the railing of the bridge. Friday was whining and barking frantically, and there was cold water pouring in, and it was dark. And the next thing she knew, Trisha was half swimming, half being pulled along by Friday through the cold water. She was so tired and confused, and nearly let go of Friday's harness once, but he gave her a sharp nip, then a quick lick, and she rallied enough to keep kicking alongside him toward the shore. Poor little thing, the nurse murmured. The child had amazingly survived the horrible accident. A suicide on Corsica Road Bridge the other day. She was suffering from head trauma and exhaustion, but should pull through. Friday? The child mumbled, fluttering her eyelids. No, honey, it's Tuesday. You got banged up a little, but you just rest now. The nurse soothed her. Time enough for bad news later. Later, she could be told that her mama had died on impact, and her dog had drowned in the car. But now, the poor child just needed to rest. <laughs>